Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. How are you? How are you feeling? How is life treating you? Hopefully life is treating you well. If not, I too hope things get better. And today's episode of Sandy A7%, I'm actually going to make this a series. So, I'm not sure if you saw my last Dockies, um inspiration eye look, but we're going to recreate this one. I don't know if you're familiar with Dockies, because I wasn't. I actually found this out just the other day when I was looking up um, some stuff. But we're going to recreate this eye look. But before we begin, if you are new, thank you for being here. And if you are one of my old friends or familia, um, thank you for coming back and um, being with my little wacky, crazy self. So, if you have not done so, if you would kindly hit that subscribe button down below and become part of my familia, I'd be greatly appreciative. And also, if you would like to hit the thumbs up or thumbs down, it doesn't matter actually, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this eye look. I'm doing a series. There's going to be four, vi four videos. No, three videos. Four videos. Four videos. <laughs> Cuatro. The first one is the green Takis, the zombie Takis. I did the look. This one, can you guess which one this is? Blue. Yes, it is. So, don't mind it. We already opened the bag. So, and this is the blue a limited edition blue heat Taki bag. Um, so, I... I tried to incorporate all the blue colors. I have not finished the look yet because I still have to do the other side and then put on the rest of my face to complete the look. I will be incorporating the yellow in here. I just haven't done it yet, but I wanted to you know, do some of these colors. And of course, we've already opened the bag. So let's take a look at what the blue heat is all about. Bam, it is a blue chip. So, um, actually it looks real, real blue in there, but this one, oh my gosh, se me está haciendo agua la boca. <laughs> my mouth is watering. Oh, I mean, I was eating them a little earlier, so that's the blue chip there. Um, they are just, these don't have the lime, so if you notice, there's no lime on here. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. Um, this is just a hot chili pepper tortilla chip. There is no lime. Supposedly there's no lime. There's no lime. Uh... Mm -mm. They're so good. Oh, limited edition blue tacky. I look coming right up. So, yes, I could have grabbed the um, what is it? The the Jeffree Star's blue palette. Was that damn thing called? I don't know what it's called. I forgot. I had a brain fart. Whatever. So what I've done is I've incorporated some colors that you some palettes that you may or may not have um this is by Colourpop um this is the build your own palette which I did and I have these blues here so I used these two so I think I used a little bit of I think I used all three and and then I used this one which is a shimmer shade but it is um dual chrome so it has like a blue tint to it if you have the Icy Betch palette by Tarte, this one works as well because you do have all of your Icy Blues in here. I didn't use any of these. Oh, yes, I did. I used one. So that's a palette. I used this one, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I mean, I've been playing with the blues. They're all pretty much very similar. So depending on what look you want to do, you can use any of these palettes. So I used one of these. I used the ColourPop. I also use this uh, Mini City palette by Maybelline. Um, I used that blue right here. Don't mind my nail. I pulled it off. This one here. Um, I use that because it is a pretty shade of blue. You can also incorporate this dark purple if you like because there is the dark purple in the bag. And also I was playing around with the um, Perfusion Festival palette show you here um i don't know why i keep this plastic on these things so um i also was messing around with these colors as well so these blues here i mean there's so many things you can do um i was playing around with a lot of these palettes uh the se fantasique by rude cosmetics i also was playing around with this one i like this blue here 
and the ciel which is yellow sky and blue blue so I did use the um those two colors are the I can't point to them this one and then this one I also was playing around with those so if you have this palette you can also use that one and the Katrina palette I only used one shade out of here I believe and and that's the first time I messed around with my eyes I probably will still add it I could do it towards the end um, there's uh, Calaca and Tormenta but Tormenta has more of a green tone to it um, but we'll be we may or may not be using this palette in this video but I will be using it in a different video I think and then if you have the take me back to Brazil palette you can also use this one as well it does have all your blues in there um, it does have the yellows and um, you can incorporate these as well but I don't know if I messed around with this one but you can we'll play around with it we'll figure it out okay so let's get started so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the color pop uh, this was the build your own shadow I do have a video I will link it up here so I do go through the colors because I don't have the names of the colors on here um, but I'm gonna be starting out with this blue one here we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush I think that's what I did I did all kinds of stuff and I should have recorded myself doing it but then I forgot whatever so I'll go in with that blue on a fluff see I was messing around so that's my fluffy brush I think we got this and um I don't remember this is what is this slim miss glam ss 57 something like that I've already primed my eyelid I'm actually using this NYX um, base eyeshadow base and white mm-hmm so we're gonna use that those chips are so addicting those chips and the um I como se llama uh the other one the zombie ones oh my god it's so good where's my brush here it is I was just gonna go in and fix this up because it did crease a little so yeah well let me know down below have you tried these chips these are actually limited edition they only came out I believe they came out in May and um, I happen to be searching uh, Takis because I was looking for the the other bags so I can so I'm gonna be doing a video on the red bag and the purple one like the fuego and the nitro so I'll be doing those um, this one is called blue heat they're limited edition so they may or may not carry them anymore in your stores I found them at Target but I actually have to drive very far to pick them up and then I what I do I get one bag <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go in with this big old fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in here brush it in I end up cleaning this section out so it looks a little dangerous don't worry about it there's a lot of cleaning up to do so you know I want to do that here so let me know in the comments yeah did have you tried these I know a lot of people have only tried the purple ones which is like the fuego which is normally what you see when you go to the um like Walmart has like their own little section so Barcel USA the company they pay to have their stuff in their own little section I'm not sure if you're familiar with that they pay and they have their own little stand in Walmart and they have chip they have peanuts as well so the fuego the purple bag they also come in peanuts which is so awesome okay there you go so I'm also going to incorporate with the same brush doesn't matter see this darker color here it does have a shimmer let me show you so I already went in with this color like I said I don't know I will link the video and somewhere on here and I'm also going to dip in this darker one it's not really dark but um, I wanted to give it like it's a little darkness here in the corner I know it looks a mess right but it's okay So that's it. It's pretty much very simple. This look is very, very simple because of all the blues. So that's the fluffy brush. I gotta put it to the side because then I'll probably need it. Then I'm also gonna go in with, um, what did I use for that? Oh, I don't know. I think it was this one. 
So see this shade here? I'm gonna go in with, oh. yeah, I think I use this one. So I use this big fluffy brush, I don't know why, but I go in just a little bit, just to grab a little product, see? So I'll swatch it for you so you can see what it looks like. It's very, um, it kind of reminds me of that blue, diamond blue something inside of Manny. So this has a blue tone, see that there? And then I'll swatch that blue one. This is a matte. And that's the blue one I have on my eye as well. So, oh, itchy. Always itchy. Let me wipe my fingers off. So then we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go in here. And it's okay if I go beyond the little bridge here because I will um, darken that up. So there you go. See? Easies, peasies. And then I go in again with that fluffy brush to go in. Now, this is the part that I'm going to probably have a problem with. Because it's, it's so hard for me to recreate my look. I should have did it at the same time, but I thought I'd be able to shorten the video a little bit. So what I do is I take a little bit of um, eye makeup remover. And this is by Ulta, but I just take a little bit on my little circle cotton round. And cotton round circle, okay. Okay, redundancy. So that I'm going to go ahead and clean this part just a little bit because I don't want it too dark. And then I go in there with um, that NYX primer again. So, okay, like I said, I'm going to clean this up a bit. And I'll do my the rest of my makeup off screen. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Jaclyn Hill JH41. Let me dry it off a little bit. So I've cleaned it off just a little. Oh, itchy. To incorporate that other color in there. This one's an easy look because it's pretty much all blue. Um, there's no, even if you don't blend right, who's gonna tell? It's all blue. So I'm going to go in with this NYX base and I'm going to go in here. And like I've said before, since I have hooded eyes, for those of us that have hooded eyes, when you apply, I do it like just not perfect because what I want to do is open my eye and then it leaves a mark how far I need to go. And it's okay if it mixes with the blue. I don't, I don't want it, you know, it's fine. I mean, this is a look by itself. So there. I went in like that. Just dolled it up a little bit just to lighten up the mood. And then I went in. Now you could do several things if you don't have this palette. So, if you don't have the boss bait and no, is it boss no party animal by laura lee did i call it boss bait in the beginning oh my god you can go in with the festival palette you can go in with this color but i like um that's profusion i liked party animal i think i called it boss babe oh my god um if i did i apologize so i'm gonna go in with a damage control this is such a pretty color i'll swatch it for you and so is karaoke. Karaoke has like a purple, it's so pretty. See, those are pretty, pretty colors. But I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade on this flat brush. It's an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And I'm gonna go in here. And I'm gonna put this on my lid. Like I said, you can't really go wrong when you're doing any kind of like semi-monochromatic look um, because you can't really tell when you go in from one color to the other because they're pretty much all blue. 
And if I'm wrong, oh, well, this is my rendition of incorporating all these blues. Because it's a blue heat, you know? So I could, I'm like, I have tons of palettes and then I had to go through them all. So like, okay, so what colors do I really want to use? And I want to build this blue in here. See, it's like really simple. But I'm going to darken up the edges. So I also went in with the, um, with this Maybelline. What is this? Mini City, Mini City palette. This is Concrete Runway. I'm not even sure if you can use this, if they have this anymore. But it's such a pretty color. I'll swatch it here. See, that's this. That's this color right here. It's so pretty. And what I want to do is, what I want to do with this one is I want to darken up the corner. And blend it into like the crease. Get these colors blended. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. And then I will put on, um, what did I use? Oh, is it this one? I think I use this one. So I will use, yeah, Holo. This one here with my finger. I think I used that one. I don't remember. Wait. I should have wrote it down. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. So I go in with this one. Just a little bit. And if, I, if it wasn't it, then I'll fix it. Yeah, because I use this one underneath. Just to dabble it in there, just to bring in that those light colors. Yeah, that's right. Hi everyone, and we're back. Um, I finished up my eye look. I used the NYX Primal Color. I used that one there. I did have to wet my brush to actually apply it the way I wanted. Um, sorry, I'm looking for the brush that I used. Uh, it was this one here. What is this? I don't know what this is. This is beat up. I have tape on it and everything. It's an eyeliner brush. I used that. So I did dip it in. And I went in underneath. Doesn't hurt to add more. And I went all the way across. So I did the same thing here. I went in and anyway, I went all the way across. So winged it out. I also I used that. I used the next. I also did um use just a tad just to give it a color. Not that one. I went with the uh take me back to Brazil. And I went in with this yellow here. Or it's like a goldy color but I used that one and I put that underneath as well um, but this was actually nice it was brand new I found it I'm like let me try this out and I found my Mac although old I probably shouldn't even be using it it's called energized that's the um, Mac there and that's the color of the mascara so I use that for my bottom lashes um, I will bring you in. Let's see if you can see. So I'll look up. So I did put on the yellow and then I put on the yellow mascara. Um, I also used a, um, I used a black eyeliner underneath in my tight line or waterline, whatever the hell it's called. I put on these Eyelore, uh, collaborated with Thalia. I used these, um, lashes here very cute I thought they were they're cute I mean you can't really see them it's more like an everyday I should have put on some other ones but I wanted you to be able to see the blue and I kept this blue stuff on my lips <laughs> um, but I did add just a tad of um, like I used this blue here for my lip and then I added this on top this glitter crap 
I put that on top and I just left it alone. I'm like, you know what? I'm out of my comfort zone. <laughs> um, but that is my look. How do you like it? It's to go with the Backies Limited Edition of Blue Heat. So I look So let me know what you think of this look. Let me know if you've tried these. Actually, right now. They were on sale at Target, but that's it. Did I do good? <coughs> I'm gonna choke. <laughs> oh, maybe it matches my tongue. So let me know what you think of this eye look. Would you create this look? What would you do differently? I was thinking if I should have added some white in there. Maybe next time I'll try it again. But those are the colors I incorporated into my look. So thank you for hanging out with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Until next time, everybody. Hasta later.